I'm now going to cover the topic of a global uh, Dysex switch, which you see in front of me here. And the, the, when this would be used is to combine two satellite dishes. And in this particular example, we're going to work here. Uh, we have a Sky um, Zone 2 satellite dish, and we also have an Astro 1 um, uh, 80 centimeter dish. And what we're going to do is we're going to feed it into a single satellite receiver so we can receive channels from both um, uh, dishes on a single box and flick between the two of them simply by change by the flick of a button. Okay. Now the alternative to using a Dysex switch uh, for somebody who doesn't have a Dysex enabled box uh, or who doesn't want to go through the, the, this laborious uh, process we're going to outlay here is you can use something like this which is a manual AB switch. So simply you connect the satellite to dish to one side, another satellite to the other side, and you simply flick over and back. Now this is ideal, it's simple, it's cheap. The difficulty is, of course, there's a manual effort required. You can't do it from your remote control, and this is why to set it up on a Dysex system is much better. Okay, So um, in terms of equipment we're going to use here, we'll have the two satellite dishes. We'll have a Triax SR110, which is Dysex enabled, and we have a satellite screen, or a, t a, t a television screen here, and we also have uh, the Dysex thing itself. So what I'll actually do is, it's, it's designed for outdoor use, so what we do here is, I'll just pull this apart, and you can see inside the electronics are here, and it's simply, for, for connecting the, uh, the wires, you can simply pull it apart like this, okay? Now, uh, what I've actually done here already in preparation for this, um, I've actually gone, and I've already connected this, so we can see that the, the um, if we look here, uh, LNBA is actually coming from the sky dish, uh, LNB2 is coming from the 80 centimeter Astro 1 dish, and the output R RX here is actually feeding directly into uh, the Triax box here. Okay, now this Triax box, we've completely wiped the box um, prior to starting this because it's important um, to program up the box in conjunction with the Dysex switch to have this work operate correctly. So in the following examples, I'm simply going to program in one transponder from each satellite dish and show you how you can flick between the two of them. So I'm just going to pick up the Triax uh, remote control here, and um, uh, we're into the menu here. And what I'll do here now is I scroll down as far as the installation menu, uh, click um, OK, and enter the password, which on a Triax box in most um, satellite receivers simply four zeros. And I come along here, and I come, uh, I have to choose which satellite receiver I'm going to use. So I just hit OK here, and what we want to do is we want to tr receive uh, Astra 2, 28 degrees east. So simply hit OK. And uh, now we come down, and it's uh, Dysac 1.0 is the particular software version. You can go for Dysac 1.2, or 1.0, and uh, what I want to go is for one of two. So we're saying the first input on the Dysac switch below uh, will be for the Astra satellite, okay? Uh, the, the Astra 2 satellites with effectively the Sky TV. So now I just come along and I hit the menu button. Uh, I exit out of there and I come into the TP scan and it's, uh, it automatically def falls here onto the Astra satellite which I've just gone to and the search mode, uh, scan mode is free so we only want free channels and I simply come along here and I hit the uh, uh, OK button and we search and what will happen here is it has picked up the BBCs okay so about 10 BBC channels have been picked up there so now we simply go hit the menu button again we go back up to antenna search uh, this time we come up to um, hit the thing and we want to choose the Astro 1 which is 19 degrees uh, east. Uh, so we hit select and we'll see here automatically um, the Triax box, being the clever box that it is, has flicked us to Dysec position 2, uh, which we see here. And we simply go OK by menuing out, coming down to the TP scan. And now we can do a scan, let's say, for one of the transponders, the first of 80 transponders listed for the Astro, Astro um, 1 satellite. So I do a search here. So now what we do is we hit, simply hit the menu button and exit out, and all the way out, and now we can simply come along um, to, um, if we hit the, ex, uh, the OK button here, we can bring up the menu, and we can see, if we go up to the top of the list here and go OK, where we can look at BBC, which is coming in on the Astra 2 satellite, and if we scroll down through the channels, um, we can go to the top of the list, and then to the very end, and we can see we're on the Astra 1, and both are working automatically. Okay, and that, that, that's it's as simple as that. When we've done this program, so we could have done full scans in both satellites, and that would have worked um, um, worked and tuned in both satellites. And then simply by using our remote control, we can flick between the two. Now, from my experience, if the satellite box has been programmed in prior to this, 
um, it won't work because you have to actually tell it which input it's expecting which satellite to feed to come from to get it to work properly. But that's it from beginning to end, um, how to install a, a, a two-way DISIC switch uh, onto a, a Triaccess R110 box. But it's basically the same format for any uh, DISIC enabled box.